Okay, so the game crashed at the end of the last video after we stood on the landmine. So uh, I just took the opportunity to move all the loot from the dead reapers, I mean, uh, yeah, from the dead reapers to... Reavers. From the dead reavers to Mandy. So if we check Mandy's inventory right now, we can see the stuff they used against us. So the M79 grenade launcher, with a whole lot of grenades, which are really heavy, so they do quite a bit of damage, but as we saw in the combat, they're really, really inaccurate, right? So that's not very good. So we got seven plasma rifles. We, uh, at least one for each person. That's pretty good. So we're gonna keep six of those. Uh, two extra sniper rifles that we don't need. Uh, four vindicated miniguns. I might just hold on to them and just, cause we, I mean, we, we, we're never gonna use them. They're quite good, but at the same time, they're kind of unnecessary given how strong the sniper rifle and the saw are. I mean, the, like, the Vindicator is like a stronger saw, but it's heavier, burns more ammo, less wieldy, and so like, I, I feel like the saw is just good enough. But the Vindicator, I guess, if we ever want to use them, they're there. And that's mostly the, the extent of the stuff they have. I mean, they got a bunch of Avenger miniguns, which are kind of useless to us. Like, the Avenger is just less good than the Vindicator, and then the Steer Orgs, which... not that good. Like, they're not even as good as the AK-47. Definitely not as good as the FN Fell. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. An extra plasma rifle there for some reason. And, uh, I got nine laser rifles. So, so we're pretty much set for robots. We've got six plasma rifles, six, uh, laser rifles and anytime we want we can just put that onto our guys and fight robots so that's good and we've got a bunch of micro fusion cells in our in our car as well so we're all set for that now we're gonna finally come into the town and uh, check this place out I believe this place is not hostile so we're just gonna run around talk to people maybe steal their things and see what other shenanigans we can get up to. Oh, we also found a robot part too, so one of the guys was like, what is this? The robot torso. So our mission here is to find a bunch of robot parts, and we found one. Now we just need to find the others. Alright, drugs. Oh, did I do that? I just took the drugs, right? Yeah, I just took the drugs. I'm just gonna steal their things because that's what we do in video games. Uh, nothing important there. So I don't know how we should do this. Should I just go around the edge? Or should I go from the north to south? Let's go from north to south. There's a whole bunch of buildings here. I don't want to miss any of them. Uh, there's a bunch of people in here talking about Easter eggs. As in, like, uh, Easter eggs about Fallout games. Let me check this shelf. I don't remember if they get angry if I steal from them. Alright, let me just take, take a med kit, sure. And then... What is that? Papers. Alright, we'll just take his papers. No description. No idea what that's supposed to be, but... We took it. So there's nothing up there. Is it really a statue? There's a statue in the town square. It's pretty fancy for the post apocalypse. Alright, we're gonna talk to the mayor. Well, you certainly don't fuck around. Don't say much either, but here, take it. I'm not gonna miss it, and this town doesn't need any more attention. Just remember that we're not interested in giving the Brotherhood all our young and food. I know you guys could probably take this town in about mm, five minutes, but I'm hoping you'll let us be. And good luck in whatever the Brotherhood's doing. Alright, and he gives us a... Uh, he doesn't give us anything. I think it's on the shelf. So, since we killed all the Reavers before we talk to him, we don't actually get to hear what he says. So he, like, he tells you that Naked Moose Mag, alright. So if you'd actually talk to him before fighting the Reavers, then he'll tell you that they're under attack by the Reavers and 
and he won't give you anything until you get rid of them, and so on and so forth. Uh, he says, take the thing, but he didn't give us anything out of it. I thought it put something into our inventory. Maybe somebody else talked to Oh, there it is. Rebecca talked to him, I see. So there's a robot head. Alright, good. Yeah, so in exchange for protecting them from the Reavers, he'll give us the robot head. But since we already killed the Reavers, we don't get to hear the... the first dialogue, unfortunately. I'm kind of doing a lot of stuff out of sequence, aren't I? Not that it matters too much, but uh, you're missing out on a few dialogue options. Uh, an old train yard with a with a window in an awkward place because there wouldn't be any wind here. <laughs> this building is blocking the wind. I don't know how that window actually works. But there's an old train yard apparently with some scrap metal. Right, there's Casey. Wow, are you who I think you are? Oh, God, look at me. I'm a mess. Anyway, I'm Casey, the local mechanic, and it's a pleasure to meet you, warrior. I heard that you guys know how all sorts of stuff works. What? You want me to join? I'd like to, but I don't think you understand how sick my pa is. He got shot in the first reaver attack, and I think it's infected. Last night his tongue started to turn black, and then he messed himself five times, and guess who had to clean that shit up? I wish there was a doctor in this town. Okay, so the doctor, so she's the mechanic that we're supposed to hire, but his dad or her dad is uh, severely wounded. I don't remember what we need to do. I don't know if it's just the first aid or if we need to doctor him. I think we need to doctor him. But let me just start out with first aid, see how this goes. Fully healed. You did it. That's great. I'll tell you what, I'll check him into the senior citizen work farm. The fresh air might do him some good, and I'm getting really tired of wiping his wrinkly ass anyway. He did always tell me to follow my dreams. Just let me pack up my things and I'll meet you back at the bunker. Senior citizen work farm, sounds awesome. Alright, so apparently first aid was enough to heal him completely. I mean, the way she talks, you'd think that she would like he would need some actual doctoring because there's there's doc there's first aid and doctoring in this game and they're, and they're different things the doctor skill is uh it uses the doctor's bag it heals more and it also heals um more severe injuries but apparently first aid was sufficient that guy is selling a robot piece but it's not actually a robot piece let me just talk to him I bet you're looking for some of that devilish contraption. Well, just your luck, you found me. I was able to retrieve the part that flew out of its chest when it blew up. I need some cash to buy some medicine for my sick mother. You want to work something out? Uh, so that's the one. Robot part. It's kind of funny. I'm going to gamble with him, see if I can steal his thing. Let me just go finish that. Save the game. Robin, talk to him. Uh, gamble? Apparently his bullets are worth more than my bullets. Wait a minute. That was trade, wasn't it? That wasn't gamble. Let me load the game. What was that about? Robin? Oh, he's not gambling now. He's just trading. Crap. I can't gamble... Uh, I had one chance. I had one chance to gamble with him and I messed it up. Damn it. Alright, well, never mind. Oh, uh, let's trade. Let's trade for it. Doesn't really matter. It's 2,000 ring pools I got. 13,000. What does he want? 2061. 2061. Doesn't really matter. Inventory. Read that. And uh, more outdoorsmen, even though we don't really need any more. So if we actually look at the robot part, 
This is a fake. It's components aren't robotic, but an antique toaster cooking device, an electronic mixer or blender, and a vibrating sex toy. You have been duped. <laughs> so the guy, the guy was selling a, a fake robot part, to scam us for our money. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. What's going on here? The pit. If you ask me, that robot was already broke. Yeah, it was. What's going on here? Angry Rick. You want me to sell my bar star attraction? Hey, listen, you asshole. This bar is how I pay my fucking bills, and that robot piece has brought more customers to my bar than my famous fermented Brahmin milk martini. How did you go shove a glass bottle up your ass and I'll kick it till it breaks? Get the fuck out of my face! That is Angry Rick. Angry Rick is kinda angry. But just talk to him again. Hey! I don't know who you used to deal with, but after I rip your fucking lungs out, I'm gonna smack your mother with him! Now turn around and march out of my fucking bar like the good little soldier you are! And stay the fuck out! Yeah, he's still angry. Let's talk to him again. Uh, okay, uh, okay, hold on. don't get so fucking exciting. Please, uh, you put that safety back on. Uh, there you go. Take a deep breath. You feel better? Whew. Hey, look, I'm sorry I yelled at you, but I'm going through a lot lately. The mayor's assistant Anna caught me smooching with Casey, and now she won't let me knock those boots no more. <laughs> look, if you look around, there ain't that many hot broads in this dump. I ain't no Brahmin tag and tribal. Uh, uh, no offense, buddy. <laughs> Here, just take it and leave me alone, okay? Yeah, so you talk to him three times and he gives it to you. So I think maybe you're supposed to be able to intimidate him somehow. But, uh, you just talk to him three times. Or you can trade him for it, or gamble him for it, I guess. A bit weird. I think they plan to have something a bit more substantial in that interaction, but this game is not about interactions. This game's about shooting things because it's not a real Fallout game. So yeah, you end up just talking to him three times and then taking his things. Uh, there's another bookshelf back here. Let me just loot everybody in town. Nothing. All right, good. So where have we not been? We haven't been here. Alright, let's go one building at a time. Alright, you guys need to go downstairs. Save the game. I don't remember how many robot parts there are. Maybe there's one more? What is this? Bookshelf. Uh, a shotgun. Alright, well, I'll take that off you. And I'll take that. And. I'll take these. Repair skill book, let's give that to Robin. Robin can read that. And check this for explosives. Alright, nothing. Uh, unlock it. Looks difficult, you say. Alright, well. How difficult does it look now, Robin? Unlocked, amazing. It's uh, ammo and things. Alright, well, good. Alright, so there's that, and then Juan's Emporium. Okay, Juan, I think Juan has the last one. The last piece of the robot. Actually, before we go there, maybe I should come check this building. Because that's the other building that we haven't been to. Last thing we need is robots. Can we talk to these people? No, we can't. There appears to be not much here. Uh, Alright, a few batteries. And uh, 
food. And food. All right. So I mean, there's not much going on in the the, the uh, in the town, as you can see. Although I guess it's kind of nice to not shoot things for a change. What the? Why did I? Why did Farsight shoot that Brahmin? Was that Brahmin? Wait, there's an upstairs. Hold on. The building has an upstairs, and upstairs there's a Brahmin that I shot. Hold on, Simon's gonna. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Simon's gonna go upstairs. Apparently, there's an aggressive Brahmin in here. Somewhere. Um. There's an angry Brahmin up here, really? Why did that even happen? Oh, it's. <laughs> the Brahmin had a cattle prod. I, it's implied that the ca Brahmin had a cattle, cattle prod up his ass, and that's why it's angry. Which, I mean, you know, okay. Ha ha ha! The Brahmin has a cattle prod stuck inside him. Funny. Alright, let's get out of here. And then the last guy is Juan. Not Juan. Not. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Juan. Hi, fellow warrior. <laughs> come in, come in. Are you looking for goods or do you want to hear about what happened? Well, that robot limped into Junction City just looking for trouble. Now, if you ask anyone in town, you'll hear that my skills in fighting are only overshadowed by my ability to stock my store shelves. I could swear that robot almost turned around and ran when it saw who it was up against. This kind of makes up for all the times I got picked on when I was younger. Anyway, I have a piece of the monster if you want to trade. My buddy Hank's got one too. You should go find him. Your buddy Hank is dead, I think. Because there's the mayor... Oh, is, is Hank the mayor? Maybe Hank's the mayor. So there's the robot arm, and he doesn't have much else. Can we gamble with him? Let me see if I can... Okay, we can gamble with him. Okay, save the game. Gamble... One of those... Two of those... Alright, well... One of those... Nope. Three. Alright, the third time. We win the third time. So there you go. Gambo. So one. Two. And then we just clear him out. Because why not? Am I right? Done. You have retrieved the robot pieces. Proceed to the exit grid to end this mission. Okay, and there you go. There's all the robot pieces. And that's the end of the mission. Let me uh, touch double check. Alright, Mandy is in fact standing on the exit grid. Good. Because <laughs> it would be a bit embarrassing if, he wasn't, if she wasn't. And we had to move everything off her again. I suppose we should level up as well. So let me just run this way. Uh, Robin? Yeah, okay. Um, Simon character. We're just gonna keep. Yeah, we're just gonna keep putting this into energy weapons and big guns. So one of those. One. That and more energy weapons. Far sight. 
is going to energy weapons. In fact, I might not big guns anymore. Because we're not going to need much more big guns. I think we're going to need... Okay, well, I can't change that anymore because I've switched characters. We're not going to need much more big guns. I think I'm just going to put everything into energy weapons from now on. Because 100 big guns is enough. We're just going to go for the end game. Alright, everything in energy weapons. Haven't quite reached 100 energy weapons with everyone yet. But that's okay, we're not going to fight robots just yet. Alright, good, let's get out of here. Excellent work, warrior. The robot pieces you retrieved match the device recovered from the raider base in Rock Falls. Our scribes are performing tests on them as we speak. Once we understand how they operate, we'll be able to defeat them more efficiently. Initial analysis indicates that the robot was already severely damaged from a previous fight with super mutants. This is confirmed by some of the less jubilant villagers' description of the battle and the dried mutant blood we found congealed in some of the mechanical joints. Further inspection revealed that its damaged power supply overloaded, causing the explosion. If that class of robot was undamaged, it could easily wipe out ten of those villages without even blowing a gasket. Now that we have a competent mechanic in our ranks, we can catch up on maintenance at the motor pool. I've also implemented a strict apprenticeship program, so we won't run into this mechanic problem again. Okay, that's that. Uh, I wonder if I'm missing a paragraph, because there's no dismissed afterwards. Anyway, I think we solved, I mean, we, uh, we accomplished everything we're supposed to. Alright, back to base. Uh, no, I don't want to encounter Reavers. Nope. 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 Alright, let's see if we can buy anything new and hire anyone new. So... We got Quartermaster. Barter... Oh, tank shells. So we got plasma pistols, which is, you know, like a, like the laser pistol, but plasma. And, you know, like the plasma rifle, but pistol. Uh, tank shells. Uh, maybe in a future mission there'll be a tank where we can use a tank shell. But we do get a tank at some point, and if you don't have tank shells, you can't fire the cannon. Not that it's really necessary, because your guns are perfectly fine. The tank cannon is like a rocket launcher, which is really inaccurate, and and you'll be fighting robots. And so the tank shells don't actually end up doing anything against the robots, because the robots have a lot of armor. So the tank shells, it's kind of... Again, the game gives you this, these toys, and then they're useless because they give it to you so late that the enemies are stronger than, than the toys. Uh, 50 caliber bullets, which is kind of useful and other things. So we're not going to buy anything, I don't think. The laser and plasma rifles that we picked up in the last mission is more than enough for the future. Uh, we have our own microfusion cells, I think, although we can buy more if we need to. Alright, so we're not going to buy anything. No one smith does he... Alright, he's not going to do anything useful. And let's go check the recruits. Assuming that we have ranked up, which we might not have. Anyone new? No, that's the same people. Alright, so we're not going to buy anything. So I'm going to sell everything I found for money. And then when we come back, we do the next mission, as usual. I'll see you in the next video.